When you love animals and by chance, you pass a sign that says free puppy, it's impossible not to stop by and check the pooch. So did this young man in Tucson, Arizona, when curiosity got the best of him. He knocked on the door to ask about the pup, and when he saw those beautiful amber eyes, his heart completely melted. You could say it was love at first sight. The pup went to his forever home with the man. Little did he know that his puppy wasn't actually pet material. After getting home with the pup, the young man named him Neo. Soon, he found out a few things about his best friend. The pooch wanted a lot of attention and he seemed a bit nervous when taken on walks. Many new owners of dogs don't know all the aspects of dog behavior, so Neo's owner thought that his pooch was a bit different. You won't believe how much different Neo really was. Neo's owner couldn't take care of Neo all day long, and the pooch was very attached to his human. So when the young man had to go to college and to his full-time job, Neo had to stay alone in the backyard. Neo was a bit skittish around other people, and he constantly tried to jump his fence to get to the neighbor's dogs and play with them. Then his owner built a higher fence, but you won't believe what he did after that. If the fence was too high to jump, Neo would chew it off or dig under it to visit the dogs. Then one day when his owner was gone, the neighbors had enough. It might sound crazy, but they took Neo away. It wasn't their right to do it, but the neighbors took Neo to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona without announcing the owner of the dog. They thought the shelter will contain the pooch until the owner comes back to deal with the situation. But something else happened. Maureen O'Neill was the CEO of the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, and she remembers perfectly when she first saw Neo. She said, One morning before our animal welfare campus opened to the public, I was outside with another staff member. Maureen continues his story. I saw a couple walking a long-legged canine to the front door. It wasn't his body composition that made me notice, but his behavior. Not only the neighbors, but even Maureen knew there was something wrong with Neo. Neo was completely avoidant of human interaction. The couple walking him seemed, as best as I can describe it, perplexed, said Maureen. The woman knew what Neo was, but the neighbors didn't have a clue. Maureen approached the couple and asked them this shocking question. You know that isn't a dog, right? The neighbors had no clue, but they responded, we were wondering. So what was Neo, if not a dog? Neo was actually a wolf dog, meaning that he was part wolf and part dog. And in Arizona, unless you're a Native American or you've got a special permit, it's illegal to own a wolf or a wolf dog. So what was Neo's fate? The shelter would have to report the wolf or the wolf dog to authorities. But O'Neill had a different idea that could save Neo and place him in a better house. She called the owner and asked him if he would accept her idea. The owner reluctantly agreed for Neo to go to a sanctuary especially created for wolves and wolf dogs. Then, O'Neill called Wolf Connection in California, and the sanctuary accepted the pooch. This is what Maureen said. Maureen told the young owner that his boy had a wonderful life ahead of him at Wolf Connection, and that made him give up on Neo. And you can see that his best friend was well taken care of. His health was great, said the vets at the sanctuary. However, when getting there, Neo had to be isolated for a bit to get medical clearance. You won't believe how eager he was to make his way to the other wolves at the sanctuary. Kate Solansky with the Wolf Connection recalls Neo's first moments in the isolation kennel. She said, Neo decided that he didn't like being kept so far away from the rest of the pack. So, he fixed the problem. Solansky said that Neo escaped the isolation kennel and went straight to the habitat of Wolf Connection's alpha female, Maya. But his escape plans had a happy ending after all, as they fell in love immediately. When Neo lived in his backyard, he wanted to escape and stay with the neighbor's dogs because he wanted his own pack. Now at the wolf sanctuary, he has a pack. O'Neill's words brought tears to our eyes. O'Neill said that Neo didn't wait to see where he fit in with the pack. He knew he belonged. Finally, Neo had his pack and he didn't need to jump fences or chew them off to stay with his new pals. To avoid adopting a wolf or a wolf dog, check their body. Look for fur inside their ears or on their bellies. They have black claws, amber eyes, and their tails have scent glands shaped like diamonds. Their behavior is similar to Neo's. We're so happy that Neo is in good hands and enjoying his life with the pack. 
the days being a lone wolf are over. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. Adopted pig living with canine siblings thinks he's a dog. Can you guess what makes this sweet potbelly pig so special? Well, besides his good looks, Chowder has grown up with tons of canine siblings and now he thinks he's one too. You'll be blown away by this story of a pig that behaves just like a dog. Meet Chowder, a five-year-old Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. Chowder was adopted by his owner Shelby Madier when she saw a Craigslist ad posted. The ad stated that his current owners didn't have the time to raise a pig. As soon as Madier read the ad, she jumped immediately at the chance to give him a wonderful life. Madier quickly went over and brought Chowder home with her. However, he wouldn't be coming back to an empty home. When Medir brought Chowder back, he was greeted by a posse of pooches. You see, Medir already owned five other pets. They all happened to be rescue dogs. Medir happens to have a full house with her five rescue pups, James and Bash the German Shepherds, Anya the Pitbull, Slicky the Pomchi, and Rika the Labrador. So would the dogs accept Chowder as one of their own? It wasn't long until Chowder became a part of the puppy crew. The pups absolutely adore him, and he loves them back just as much. They have a great time when they're together. It wasn't long until Chowder became a part of the puppy crew. The pups absolutely adore him, and he loves them back just as much. They have a great time when they're together. To the dogs, Chowder isn't a pig or an animal that is different from them. To them, Chowder is their brother and that's exactly how they treat him. In turn, Chowder has begun to see himself as a dog. Chowder has really begun to embrace his inner pup. He loves to fool around with his canine siblings and has begun to pick up on some of their habits. Madir think it's absolutely hysterical. As a self-confessed vegan and animal lover, Shelby has decided to share updates of her life with the gang on social media. On her Instagram account at piggypoo underscore and underscore crew, she shares photos and videos from her everyday life. Shelby has managed to rack up quite a following with 55.8 people interested in Chowder and the gang. Many people have asked Shelby tons of questions on Chowder and what it's like to raise a pig. She has been kind enough to answer. His most favorite thing to do is work on his busy bottle, Medier said. It's a plastic bottle that I made for him. It has a hole in it and I usually put Cheerios or popcorn inside and he is able to get them out by maneuvering it. He delights in that. It keeps him very busy, and a busy piggy is a happy piggy. Matter also made sure to specify that dogs and pigs have completely different needs and personalities. A pig happens to be more demanding than a dog, especially in terms of mental stimulation. Matter has also stated that pigs are as intelligent as people say they are. This means that they can be quite observant and will pay attention to things that dogs won't. Pigs must be challenged and given games, or they can become depressed if not mentally stimulated," Madir shared. What I wish people knew more about pot-bellied pigs is they're more of a two- to three-year-old child rather than a dog. They're demanding and moody. Madir has also stated that pigs are as intelligent as people say they are. This means that they can be quite observant and will pay attention to things that dogs won't. Since pigs are much more observant and smarter, they are in need of an owner with the time and dedication to give to them. Medir points out that having a pig is not low maintenance at all. This is important information for anyone looking to adopt one. They're smart and will challenge you during your growing up process, Medir said. They require someone who is willing to be devoted, patient and willing to love them at any stage of their lives. They're very sensitive and observant and they understand forgiveness, hate, and love. Madir also stands behind adoption and believes that all animals should be adopted instead of buying. The best thing about adopting over buying is that you're saving a life and giving an innocent precious animal a life of hope and love and joy, the same as any human desires," Medir said. When I look at my crew, I see the reflection of who I am in them. Their happiness, their safety, and their health. Their whole lives rely on me, and I will never ever let them down," Medir said. It certainly seems that Medir's crew is thankful to her for their second chance at life. They all seem to be incredibly happy in their home with each other. Chowder especially has found himself a great crew of siblings to surround himself with. This crew is definitely one of a kind and that's what makes their an even more special.